Hi everyone, it's Video Friday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm Joel G. Harrison, and today I'm going to give my take on Micro Four Thirds in print size. Yes, there is a little trade-off. I don't think that little trade-off is the biggest deal as a lot of people are making it out to be. So, let's go ahead and get started. Yes, if you do zoom into a 40 by 60 print to one little section, the P.H. Morris general merchandise that's on the mural of downtown Ashburn will not be razor, razor sharp. But for a Micro Four Thirds, 16 megapixel camera, 40 by 60, when you, when you look at it like a normal person from maybe at least four to five inches away, or even farther, it's a great looking print. This is the famous water sculpture in the alley in Greensboro, North Carolina. Yes, if you zoom in into a small section of 40 by 50 print, you still would be amazed. Look at the detail in the brick, the detail in the water, and the small indentations on the slide itself. So yes, sometimes micro four thirds can fool you, but again, you're not gonna have your nose pressed right up against the picture frame. And if you don't have bionic eyes, you're not gonna be zooming in. This is what you will be seeing when you look at it. You probably passed this scene maybe once, twice, or maybe a hundred times during the Christmas season. And yes, does not on a 40 by 50 print isn't the detail, doesn't look nice. But yes, if you do zoom in on one section of 40 by 60 print just to the sign itself, you still might be amazed. Yes, it might not be razor, razor sharp, but it's still pretty daggone good for micro four thirds in a print that size. And for our last picture, we started in Ashbury during the day. So we're we'll ending Ashbury at night. As you can see, this is a, a section of 40 by 60 print, but you still can read really well the bright side the gallery sign and the sign underneath that, the, cal the carriage house T sign. So if you're not one inch, or even have your nose pressed against the picture frame, you won't even notice this, because this is not the way you're gonna look at a picture or at least this picture, a picture this size, you're going to look at it this way. So yes, sometimes it would be maybe nice to have a larger sensor to get the super, super sharp detail when you zoom in that much or have, make a print that large. But me personally, and my clientele that I, I deal with, most of my prints, the largest I've printed probably in the last 30 years was 16 by 20. But I'm showing you what detail you can get out of a 40 by 60. So yes, for my needs, Four by thirds is more than enough. It might not be enough for your needs, but for me, it's more than enough. I just want to add my two cents to the four thirds print quality debate. Well, what do you think? Now, this is my take on micro four thirds in print sizes. And if my math calculations were correct, when I zoomed in, I was showing you a print equivalent of 40 by 60 inch, inch print. Now, if you make prints larger than that, you might want to go to a, maybe a, a larger sensor. But if all the prints you make are smaller than 40 by 60s, and your nose is not right up there uh, on the picture frame, and hopefully if, you visit, if you're at someone else's house or visiting a friend of yours, you, you don't walk up and stick your nose on the picture frame, you're taking the whole picture. And that's just my, my opinion and my take on it. And as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, Go down to the right hand corner, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. If you're watching this on Facebook, also set your notifications so you can get my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. Like I said before, feedback is always welcome because no one knows everything that is to know about photography. So the more we combine our ideas and our talents, all of us will go down that road a lot happier and reach our goal of being really happy photographers at the end. And I want to quote a uh, comment I, ho I heard from a great, great photographer, Joe Elderman. He said, photography is not a competition, it's a passion to be shared. And I think that was a great statement. I want to share it and spread it with you. And I will see you Tuesday.